In Puerto Rico, Adventists have created a space where everyone is welcome. CentroCEF is an urban center of influence that was started to help people prioritize community, education, and family. Students and faculty from Antillian Adventist University offer programs that promote healthy living. We are here in the community near our center. We are conducting a survey about what the surrounding population needs, how we can impact them, and help them in different ways. We are giving them flyers about the services we offer. We pray with the person, talk to them, see how they are, and have a good interaction with them. They have met people's needs with activities like conducting health fairs, giving clothing to those who need it, and praying with people. At the UCI, children come to be tutored in subjects like English, Spanish, and math. We also have a school for parents where we learn about emotions, what good emotional intelligence is, and how to develop and practice it with their child. At the end of the center's first semester, families and volunteers enjoyed an end-of-year holiday program. During a large celebration with food and music, the children showcased their artwork and the staff handed out special gifts to community members. But as 2020 progressed, CentroCEF had to find new ways to operate. They experimented with hosting a podcast to discuss a variety of topics and promote the center's services. During the pandemic, the services needed to be adapted a little. But we continued by doing online workshops for parents and art workshops for the kids. We also created a WhatsApp group where we send daily educational videos. Hello, my name is Jalis Bosquez. I'm part of the art group. I like it because I learn many things. We are really happy with the service we receive. It's been a big help to learn in the area of art, and it's been beneficial to my children who have been quarantining and social distancing. We can't go out much, but these workshops are helping a lot because the kids benefit, learn, and enjoy. This online shift allowed the volunteers to stay connected with people, even when they can't be together physically. They have developed an online group for women to interact and support each other. It helped me a lot. Many times we need support and others won't listen. And in my case, I have been living completely alone for three years. It's not easy. Centrosef has done amazing things to impact this community in Puerto Rico. This quarter, a portion of your 13th Sabbath offering will help the efforts of this urban center of influence. We will continue working for the community, for the family, and for kids' education. We have other activities planned and things to do to impact everyone here. We hope to serve as a blessing for each of them in the midst of these difficult times. Thank you for supporting projects like this through the 13th Sabbath offering. Something new and exciting was happening on campus at the Adventist University of Venezuela. Students and faculty from the theology department wanted to do something to have a lasting impact on the people around them. In 2016, they opened the Center of Languages, giving university students access to learning English, Portuguese, and French. Language skills were in high demand. 
I had the privilege of seeing the birth of the Center of Languages and organizing the curricular contents of the courses that were taught. It was a great challenge, but with the support of my team of teachers, we were able to advance in fulfilling the mission. This Center of Influence has since evolved and now opens its doors to the entire community, many of whom are not familiar with the Adventist message. For a year, I taught English in the Center of Language. Afterward, I received the responsibility of coordinating the Center of Language. In 2019, we received a lot of students that were unbelievers. So we uh, notice that and create some strategies for reach them and uh, share with them about the gospel. A center of influence is the most effective way to present the gospel to those who do not know Christ. It is an easy way to show to others the way through your lifestyle. The courses include devotionals and spiritual discussions that have piqued the interest of some students. One of the most excellent things about the course that Professor Anthony passed into us, the spiritual seeds that he sowed in each of our heart. It has helped me in my personal, social, and communicational development with another people and the devotional helped me in my spiritual life. I would describe the experience in the Center of Languages as an opportunity that it motivated me to keep learning English, and thanks to all the values that it gave me, I'm able to communicate in the language of English in the United States. In 2020, despite the challenges caused by the pandemic, the Center of Influence continued teaching its classes online attending 138 students, 16 of them non-Adventists. This center of influence will continue working to reach the enriched. As the school keeps expanding, they have to adapt to constant changes and growing demand. Part of the 13th Sabbath offering this quarter will assist this university and others across the inter-American region to further develop centers of influence. The Center of Influence of INAP and Zeta Ben invites all the members of the Seventh day Adventist World Church to generously contribute the 13th Sabbath offering and thus support the development of the missionary projects in this region of the world. Thank you for your kindness. In UNAP, we, we will go. go.